Hi and welcome, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman and this is Metaphysical Ministry International. I'm so glad you came by today for your quick spiritual boost coming from a metaphysical perspective. What is metaphysical all about? Well, the world that you are perceiving is only 1% actually way less than 1% of what actually exists because most of the dimensions that compose reality are beyond our five senses. The bigger part of existence happens beyond what we can see or touch or hear or taste or smell. So becoming aware of these other dimensions and developing the ability to experience them that's what metaphysics is about, and it allows us to really have a rich, rich spiritual growth, because that's why we're here, for our spirits to grow. We start every week with a happy share. Why a happy share? Because most people go around day to day. You ever notice people on the streets, or in the restaurants, or wherever it is, they're kind of, they're not smiling. A lot of them are scowling. It's because people automatically go to the default thinking of what's wrong and what's missing. Why? It's just a habit, and you can change that habit by looking for something that makes you happy every single day in your world. So the habit share for me is right now I am out in the country, and it's not farm country where I used to live, but it's out ranch country which is very exciting to me because there are horses everywhere and roosters and hens and all kinds of colors and sizes that I've never seen and they're laying eggs in all kinds of sizes and colors that I never witnessed before and it's just a really exciting different way to be and I'm really enjoying being here no I don't want to live here but I'm enjoying visiting my friend on her ranch so that's my happy share what's yours scroll down to the comments section join the conversation tell us what left you feeling good or happy or relaxed or peaceful this week and it's not about something that happened for your kids or your partner or your parents or your neighbor or your friend it's something that left you feeling really happy we have been talking recently about spirit because after all that's what a spiritual metaphysical and ministry <laughs> is all about your spirit is your soul it's your higher self it's the part of you that connects to the all is one when we're talking about we are all connected we are all one that's the part of you that is the all one now We've talked about how to get yes-no answers from your spirit. We've talked about how to get the name of your spirit so you don't have to call it a you. And today we're talking about how to distinguish the voice of your spirit from the little chatterbox in your head that some people call the critical voice, and I call it the commentator. The commentator is that voice that's right now going on inside your head telling you, ooh, she's hearing voices in her head. I think it's time to leave. Let's click away. Hey, I'm glad that you stayed because that commentator is your habitual way of experiencing life. Instead of experiencing me directly, you're listening to what the commentator's telling you about me, about what I'm saying, about what you agree with, what you don't agree with, about whether my hair is in place, about if I'm wearing too much makeup or not enough. Whatever it is, your commentator is chatter, 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 chatter chattering non-stop. It's not your spirit. Your spirit knows everything about you, past, present, and future. Your spirit is the little voice that you're driving down the street, and all of a sudden it says, make a right turn next light. And you say, what? I don't want to make a right turn next right. That doesn't take me where I want to go. So you ignore it. Ever done that? Yeah, about a half mile down the road, there you are, smack dab in traffic. You're not moving anywhere for an hour. And you wish you had listened to what you might be calling your gut feeling, your intuition. That little voice, that little voice is your spirit. Your higher self, your soul, knows everything. Always 100% accurate information. So today, what I want to share with you is how to know when your spirit has a message for you and is saying, Yo, pay attention here. Ask 
your spirit to give you a physical sign, something you don't ordinarily experience so that you know your spirit wants to get your attention so that you very accurately and in a very focused way get the message your spirit wants you to know in the moment. Now, it might be something like an itch behind an ear. It, for me, it's a kind of different kind of vibration, tingling, only in my left hand. I don't know what it is for you. Ask your spirit each day when you meditate. If you said you don't meditate, you know what? Do it if you just do it for one to three minutes a day. Just sit quietly and peacefully and build it up. Your life will change dramatically. So when you sit and meditate, just ask your spirit to show you a physical sign so you will always know when it's coming to you with a message and you are alert and ready to allow it in. So the other way to know the difference between the chatterbox and your spirit talking to you, ask it a question. What does a commentator do when you ask it a question? Yak, 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 yak. It will go on and on. But you ask a question of your spirit, we'll get an answer. You hear the message, you get the feeling, make the right at the next light, and you say, why? Won't get an answer. That's when you know that is your spirit talking to you. That's when you pay attention. So you pay attention, but you ask a question, you don't get an answer. You also get it into your awareness by asking your spirit to show you a physical sign that you can dependably know. And you got to ask this every day, at least five days, because you might feel a few different sensations the first few days and not know which one it is. But over a period of five days, chances are you'll have a very, very clear distinction of which bodily sensation it is that your spirit saying, yo-ho, pay attention now. In our sanctuary is a tree of life. On the tree of life are names of people, of pets. And every single morning I say a very special blessing and it's recognizing that we are all connected, that we are all one, that we are whole and perfect divine spirits. And anything that's going on with anyone who comes into my awareness, I know because we are connected, it's going on in me too. And by saying this special blessing, I am healing it, clearing it inside me, and guess what? It heals it, clears it inside the other person, animal, circumstance. I've been doing this for years. I know it works. We see miracles happening. If you have a name of someone or an animal you'd like on the tree of life, scroll down. In the comment section, leave me that name. You will get an email from me, and we will get that name on the tree of life. The next piece that we want to go to is holding a space for. When people say a prayer, a prayer is all about gratitude is being thankful for who you get to be in life, for all you get to have in life. Because even if you think you don't have everything you want, there's somebody else who has a whole lot less. I guarantee it. But that's prayer. When there's a desire in your heart, well that desire wouldn't come unless you also had the possibility of realizing it, of manifesting it as your reality. You have a vision of something that you want to see as your reality. We will hold that vision for you. We call it holding a space for, scroll down, leave us the words that you want to have your reality defining it. Maybe it's a job that's contributing to the betterment of the community. Maybe it's a home that's a green home. Maybe it's a friend who you can just see with, sit with. Be yourself, even in silence. I don't know what it is for you, but you can let us know. And not only will it appear below the video here, but if you're on the web page of Metaphysical Ministry International Updates, look up there. There's a whole page of holding a space for it. And come back here very often because all you have to do is say the name and what the person asks that we hold the space for. You don't have to know the person. The universe knows who it is. 
and when your name's there, we'll be doing the same for you. And when it is in your highest and best interest, it will become your reality. But only if you share with others so you can get there faster. If you found something of value here today that made a difference for you, please scroll down and hit the like button. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please go in up there and hit the subscribe. We are here every Sunday with a quick spiritual boost to make that difference that you're seeking to make in your world. Because the bottom line is, everything that doesn't feel good, whether it's emotional or physical, is the result of a spiritual disconnect. Either that disconnection's happening between you and the all is one, creator, life force, God, whatever word you use, or it's between you and your higher self, your spirit, your soul, or it's between you as spirit and every other person, or maybe even just one other person, their spirit. So each of us, is a divine spirit living a human experience. Again, thank you for joining me. Remember this week, ask your spirit to show you a sign when it's going to communicate with you. And you know how you turn off that chatterbox little voice? You simply say, thank you for sharing. And then you get to really witness you and your spirit directing your life as it's meant to be. See you next week. Blessings.